Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Who Cook Crochet. This is Sandy. You, what you're seeing is not an illusion. This is a real thing. This is my, my very own Hobby Lobby haul. My clearance shopping. I did good. I did good, everybody. I got some of my favorites. They're this is their version of Karen Cakes, I guess. It's called Sugar Wheel. Regular price, $7. They were on clearance for $1.74. These are so pretty and so soft. This is one of my favorite colors. It's called Tangerine Bubblegum. That was on sale. What was that? $1.24. got some of this comfy classic I guess they're trying to get rid of this color lot got this pink camo color breathe deep I've never worked with that yarn but it was 99 cents regularly 3.99 and this this hint of silk oh this is such soft yarn this is regularly $6, but it was on clearance for $1.49. And that is 85 bamboo, 15% silk. It's so soft. Oh my gosh, I got red and I got purple. I got some of this Mexican cotton yarn. This is really good moisturized yarn. Now that is expensive yarn, but it was on clearance for $1.62. None of the solids were on clearance at my Hobby Lobby. And then my favorite, I love this cotton. This was 94 cents. I got a bunch of purples. They seem to have to be getting rid of the purples. The ZZ Twist, some of the colors they decided to clear out the, the dye lots. This is $1.24, regular price, $5. I got a bunch of that. I got this Must Be Merino. That was on clearance, too. Good price for that. And then this Fresh Haven, which is... This is a Tencel. So it's $1.24. You don't get much yarn for it, but it's very soft. I really don't know what tinsel is. If you do, let me know in the comments. So overall, I under tax, I paid less than $50. Before tax, I paid less than $50 for all of this. So after tax, it was like $53. So I'm very happy. There was so much more stuff. So much more yarn on clearance and I didn't get a chance to look around at the other stuff, but I'm sure it's not just the yarn that was on clearance. On my road trip that I took a couple days ago, I brought this ball of Burnett Velvet Stripes, which at Michael's, they were almost giving it away, $4. This is regularly $5. This is polyester yarn. I started a corner to corner piece and I didn't I didn't really finish because I hit a couple Michaels locations and I got some yarn here's what I made I started a washcloth using you know it's like this is like a granny square pattern but I did front post and back post stitches I used this Premier Home yarn. So I started on that. And then I moved on to another project. I made this using a whole ball of Craftsmart yarn. This is the color Merlot. It's a variegated, no, not variegated, stripes. And they did that same uh, kind of stitch, you know, like a granny square, but using front post back post it's a very nice stitch it's double-sided can't really tell between the front and the back except for the fact that i got my my ends to even 
And the last thing I made was this double-sided cotton pot holder. I have to wash it because it fell on the floor, but I think it came out okay. Double-sided. We'll see if I use it. Sometimes I don't use my creations. How about you? Do you use everything you make? So overall, I had a nice time when I got back. My house was cleaned and I just did a little bit of unpacking. Seems a little bit empty now with one less bear in it. Uh, and my other son is now working full time. So we went from four people in the house, always home, to sometimes it's just me. And I like that. It's nice and peaceful at times. Nice and quiet enough to hear the neighbors again. <laughs> I haven't heard them. I thought they moved away. No, it was just my house wasn't empty. Okay, you guys, stay tuned. I have a video coming up, and I will tell you about my weekend and the reason why I haven't been consistent with my video every day in August. All right, take care and stay safe. Bye.